Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the 2018 edition of the Eastern States Exposition Draft Horse Show. We're glad you're spending this nice rainy Friday with us here at the Big E. We have a full afternoon of draft horse showing for you, starting off with our Halflinger Six Horse Hitch Competition. But before we bring them in, we would like to introduce you to our officials for 2018. We're under the management of Mr. Jason Gates of Tequesta, Florida. He's assisted by Mr. Jay Mullen of Hopkinton, Massachusetts. Matthew Mindick of Ashford, Connecticut, special assistant to the management. Horse show coordinator is Stacy Hathaway. Horse show secretary is Pam Turner. Ringmaster from Elmore, Ohio is Mr. Larry Hansberger. Our paddock master in the back barns from Madeira Beach, Florida is Mr. Terry Mason. Camping and parking supervisor is Gary Sakosha of East Bridgewater, Massachusetts. And our veterinarian is Dr. Chris Koss of Millbury, Massachusetts. Official horse show photographer from Goshen, Connecticut is Ms. Stacy Lynch. Video board and live streaming operator from Hadley, Massachusetts, Mr. Patrick Sirio. Judging this week in our draft horse divisions, from the Coma, Saskatchewan, Canada, Mr. Doug Hobman. And our organist comes from New Waterford, Ohio, Ms. Amy Paradise Braden. This time we are ready to open the gates and get underway with the first of our afternoon classes. It is the Halflinger Six Horse Hitch Competition. Three entries in each section, two sections to see. Here they come. And judging in our Halflinger division, then we'll welcome Mark Berry. He is judging our Halflingers this week. Ladies and gentlemen, the Shanahan Hitch. Right behind them, the Flory Hitch. And rounding out section one of the Miller Hitch. Drivers underway at the trot, please. And starting with our Shanahan entry then, we will call for the reverse, please. Starting with our Shanahan entry. Thank you very much. Down to the walk, please. At a walk, please.
trot, please. Return to the trot, please. And starting with the flurry hitch then, we will call for the lineup, please. This is our Halflinger six horse hitch, calling for the lineup, starting with the flurry hitch. So we'll dismiss this group then. You can drive out to your right, please. Starting with our Shanahan hitch, you're driving out to your right, please.
So we'll be bringing second section of our Halflinger Six Horse Hitch competition in. As soon as they do get the traffic sorted out back there, second section will be making their way up the chute. Keep your eyes on the Jumbotron, folks. You'll see them coming. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Myers Family Hitch. The Stream Acres Hitch, ladies and gentlemen. And the Hefner hits, rounding out section two. Underway at the trot. Drivers, underway at the trot, please. And starting with our Myers hitch then, we will call for the reverse, please, starting with the Myers hitch. Thank you, drivers. Down to the walk, please. If you are down to the walk, please. Trot, please. Show it the trot, please. And once again, starting with the Myers Hitch, we'll ask you to line up, please.
So we will invite the first section of the Halflingers back into the arena, driving into your right and loop straight to line. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Halflinger Six Horse Hitch competition in its entirety. So we are going to have a drive off. Our ringmaster Larry Hansberger is sending them out to the rail now. Judge going to get a look at a few more of these against each other from separate heats before he makes his final determination. And thank you very much, drivers. We'll ask you to return to your spot in the lineup, please. This has been our Halflinger Six Horse Hitch Competition.
And thank you very much, drivers. We'll ask you to join us at center ring for the lineup, please. Ladies and gentlemen, judge now making his final determination. And starting with our Logan Hitch, then we will, driving out to your left, we will dismiss you to the holding area. So the Halflingers, this competition will take place over several days, and the results have been sealed in an envelope, will be kept in, an, uh, in the office, and we will determine our final champion on Sunday. So we're dismissing this group. How about a hand of acknowledgement as they all head out? It has been our Halflinger Six Horse Hitch competition heading out. Ladies and gentlemen, they are going to do some traffic adjustments back there before we get underway now with our Belgian tandem hitch. 
You're not going to want to miss our afternoon exhibition. Guy McLean, internationally renowned Australian horseman and entertainer, will be joining us after the next four classes. He will be performing right here in the Big E Arena. You're not going to want to miss this if you haven't seen him already. First of his two performances today coming up later on. So we are ready now to continue on with our class. It is the Belgian Tandem Hitch Competition. Lone entry making their way up the chute. Complete judging underway at the trot, please. This is our Sherwood Groves entry underway at the trot, please. And we'll ask you to reverse, please. Entry will call for the reverse, please. Thank you, driver. Down to the walk, please. Trot, please. Show at the trot. And thank you very much, driver. We'll ask you to join us at center ring for the lineup, please. And ladies and gentlemen, results official now in class 13, our Belgian tandem hitch competition. We'll congratulate our winner. It's the Sherwood Groves hitch, Roger Toms of Aaronsburg, Pennsylvania, driving for Don Sherwood of Tunkhannock, Pennsylvania. Here they come one more time. It's our Belgian tandem hitch winner, the Sherwood Groves entry. Roger Toms of Aaronsburg, Pennsylvania, drove to victory. The next class on the schedule, class number 14, we're returning to our Clydesdale breed and inviting the team hitch competition into the arena. Four entries in the team hitch competition making their way up the chute.
Class is complete. Judging now underway at the trot, please. If you would, drivers underway at the trot, please. Clydesdale Shire team hitch competition. Judge Doug Hobman taking a look at these teams and we'll have results for you after watching them both directions of the ring. And starting with our Burger Barn Hitch, the Kingpin Farms Hitch will ask you to reverse, please, on the diagonal. Ladies and gentlemen, these horses reverse on what we call a diagonal. It gives the judge a chance to look at the horses in the turn. Also with the size of the wagons and the horses, reversing across the diagonal allows the traffic to work the way it should work. Many times when you're watching the lighter breeds, they will reverse right where they stand or within a few yards of where they stand, but in this situation, reversing across the diagonal is both safer and it also gives the judge a chance to look at them in a different way. Thank you drivers, down to the walk please. Return to the trot, please. Starting once again with our Burger Barn Hitch, we will call for the lineup, please. Kingpin Farms, Mr. Greg, if you would, set the line, please. Ladies and gentlemen, the Clyde Sale Team Hitch Competition. Judge going to walk the line now. He's going to ask each of these entries to back and return to their original position in line. Let's watch. Look for a nice straight back and listen to the voice commands that the drivers will use.
The results are official now in class 14. It has been our Clydesdale Shire team hitch competition. Driving out to your left in first place, number 417, it's Kingpin Farms. Clark Gregg driving for Jason and Celeste Hill of Oshweken, Ontario, Canada. Kingpin Farms, one of our Canadian hitches here at the Big E this year, winner of our Clydesdale team hitch competition. In second place, we'll congratulate 495. It's the Hobby Knoll Stables, Phil Anderson, driving for Phil and Andrea Anderson of Duxbury, Massachusetts. In third place, first of two Pennsylvania hitches here in this competition, 444, that's the Greenlee Farm Shires. Tom Greenlee of Pine Grove, Pennsylvania, the owner and driver. And the fourth award entry, 474, it's the Benchfield Farm Hitch. Scott Enslin of Newville, Pennsylvania, the owner and driver. Second of our two Pennsylvania representatives here in the Clydesdale Team Hitch competition. Well, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together one more time. This is a nice send-off for the Clydesdale team hitch winner, King Pin Farm. Clark Gregg drove to victory today for Jason and Celeste Hill of Oshuiken, Ontario, Canada. Next up on the schedule, class number 15, our open mare team hitch competition. We will have four teams making their way in. Keep your eyes on the Jumbotron and you can watch them come in. So the open mare teams, they will look similar to what you just saw, except there will be multiple different breeds in here. And the team, the pair of horses leading the wagon, are mares, which means that the horses are female. So here they come, the open team Hitch competition for the mares. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Belgians of Oak Hall Farm of Wolfsburg, Pennsylvania. The Stony Lake Belgians, ladies and gentlemen. Representing the Percheron breed, it's Trip Crest Farm. It's the Benchfield Farm, Spotted Draft Horses. Passes complete, drivers underway at the trot, please, if you would.
And starting with the Oak Hall entry then, we will call for the reverse, please, starting with our Oak Hall entry. Thank you very much, drivers. Down to the walk, please. At a walk, please. Thank you, drivers. Back to the trot, please. Once again, starting with our Oak Hall entry, then we will call for the lineup, please. Starting with our Oak Hall entry, Mr. Hans Berger will help you set the line. Mr. Mangles, if you would, set the line, please. at the Open Mare Team Hitch Competition.
The results official now in class 15 is our open mare team hitch competition. Driving out to your left in first place, number 345, it's the Trip Crest Farm entry. Chad Cole of Center Hall, Pennsylvania, driving for Jane Gray of Harrison, Maine. Trip Chris Farm and Chad Cole, winner of our Open Mayor Team Hitch competition. In second place, we'll congratulate 301. It's the Stony Lake Belgians. Randy Robertson drives for Del Drain of Doro Dummer, Ontario, Canada. Third place to 436, it's the Oak Hall Farm entry. Reese Mangles drives for Lewis Biddle of Bullsburg, Pennsylvania. And the fourth award to 474, it's the Benchfield Farm Hitch. Scott Enslin, the owner and driver from Newville, Pennsylvania. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the Open Mayor Team Hitch winner once again, Trip Crest Farm. Chad Cole drove to victory for Jane Gray, taking the blue ribbon back to Harrison, Maine. Ladies and gentlemen, next up on the schedule, final class before we bring in internationally renowned Australian horseman Guy McLean to do his demonstration. But before that, next up, class 16, our Perch Run Tandem Hitch Competition. Expecting four in this one. Driver's class is complete. Judging underway at the trot, please. Underway at the trot.
Then we'll start the reverse then with our flat rock entry then please. Starting a reverse with the flat rock entry. And thank you drivers, back to the walk please. Down to the walk please. And return to the trot if you would. Once again, starting with our flat rock entry, then we'll call for the lineup, please. Judge now going to walk the line and examine each of these tandems. He's going to ask each of them to back and return to their original spot in line. Let's watch and listen. The results are official now in Class 16, our Percheron Tandem Hitch Competition. We'll congratulate our winner driving out to your left. We'll congratulate 493. It's Pine Hollow Dairy Tandem, Dale Mattoon of Lock, New York, the owner and driver.
Congratulations once again to Pine Hollow Dairy and Dale Mattoon winning the Perch Run and Tandem Hitch competition. Second place will congratulate 485. It's Gregory J. Rowe and the Flat Rock Draft Horses of Bellevue, Ohio. Third award to 476, that's the Bald Eagle Creek tandem. Scott Enslin driving. And in fourth, we'll congratulate 317, the Fox Hollow Movers, Kimberly Fox of Syracuse, New York, the owner and driver. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together one more time for a Percheron Tandem Hitch winner. Give him a nice big E send off. Pine Hollow Dairy, Dale Mattoon of Locke, New York, the owner and driver, victorious this afternoon in our Percheron Tandem Hitch competition. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take just a couple minutes and recondition the surface of the arena before we bring in Australian horseman and entertainer Guy McLean. So Tractor's making their way in, and then he'll be with us for a great, fantastic presentation. Not going to want to miss this, folks. Tractors are going to redo the surface first. You know you got everybody looking. 